Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be digging into Coinbase's Layer 2 chain base, as I think this will start gaining a lot of traction over the next couple of months. So I'm going to be providing a tutorial of how to transfer Ethereum over to Ethereum base chain to buy on decentralized exchanges, as there's a lot of cryptocurrencies that are starting to transfer over to the base chain. So I'm going to be providing that tutorial, and if you like that type of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. And if you're interested, there is a link underneath the video to CoinW, which will provide access to a free trading group. So you can go ahead and sign up using the link underneath the video, and that will provide access to a Telegram group, which will provide different trading view setups, trading signals, trading live streams, and insights from very experienced traders. And so this is an exclusive group here by signing up using the link with CoinW. Now there is no deposit required, so make sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and take a look at Coinbase here. As you know, Coinbase is one of the largest exchanges. Now Coinbase has more than 98 million users worldwide and 9 million people actively exchanging every month. right? And so if they can convert some of these users from Coinbase to their layer two um, platform base, there's a massive opportunity there. And so they know that they have a lot of people that they're planning on making this very simple to use, right? They want to be able to use their layer two base chain moving forward and so I wouldn't be surprised to see them implement a way to make those transactions very easy to use. So something else that I also want to take a look at here is that the daily active addresses and daily transactions have increased substantially over the last week. So if we look at this here back from early January we can see there wasn't a ton of transactions however we saw a massive spike here um, about a week ago and since then we are still seeing this still pick up right it did drop back down However, there's more people using this. There's a lot of transactions as well. We saw a huge spike here in transactions, and this is still much higher than where it was before. So let's do a comparison here between Base and Solana, just to give you an idea of the growth for Base Chain. And so if we leave this in percentage here, we can see percentage based, Base is outperforming Solana. Now Solana has a lot more transactions, However, we can see that this spike is massive for base chain. It's a huge percentage of growth, and there's a lot more people starting to use base chain. And so this is something that I am personally paying attention to and accumulating solid projects on base chain moving forward. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the coins on base chain here. I am on Dex Screener and I am focusing on base chain. And so we can see that these are all different cryptocurrencies, right? A lot of these are meme coins currently. Now there's a lot of opportunities in meme coins. However, there's also going to be cryptocurrencies that are listed on here that have utility in their solid projects and you can get in very early, right? I mean, some of these are below $1 million market cap. And so if it's a solid project and they're building, you could easily see these projects go to $100 million and see a 100x return. So definitely something to be paying attention to. We can see here in the last 24 hours, if we're looking at these cryptocurrencies, some of these are having very good gains. We have 135% on base swap, base X 137%. We can see there's other meme coins as well, right? Meme coin here up 13%. Brett is a very popular meme coin on base chain up 15%. And so this is really starting to get a lot of traction. And so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial here. And so the first thing you're going to need is Ethereum in a wallet. And so you've either you're using MetaMask or Trust Wallet or another wallet out there. As long as you have Ethereum in there. So you can see I have 0.028 Ethereum. And I am going to be converting some of that over to Ethereum base. And so that is what this looks like here where I have about $20 in there currently, and so I'm gonna be adding to that in this tutorial. So the first thing I have here is the trust wallet shown. I have Ethereum in there. Now the next thing I'm gonna be going to do here is going over to bridge.base.org, where I can bridge over Ethereum to base. Now you can do this vice versa as well. If you have money on base, you can convert it back to Ethereum if you're looking to cash out. So that's something to keep in mind. Now I'm gonna go from um, Ethereum to base here and so we can see that I have the 0 0.028 Ethereum available and so for this example I'm going to use 0 0.01 Ethereum and I am going to go ahead and proceed with that transaction so we can see that's roughly $34 and I am going to have a network fee here so if I go ahead and say I want to deposit ETH I'm going to switch the network over to Ethereum and then once that is processed here I can go ahead and say that I want 0 0.01 and then we can confirm the deposit and so one thing to note here is to look at the fee, right? This is going to vary with Ethereum. You're gonna see a higher fee on Ethereum. And then once you get into the base chain, the fees are gonna be substantially less. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this. 
And so we can see here that the deposit is in transition to base. And so we should be seeing this show up in your wallet here shortly. And so the transaction has now been completed. If we go over to our wallet here, we can see that money has been removed from Ethereum on Ethereum chain to Ethereum on base chain. And so now I am able to buy cryptocurrencies through a decentralized exchange using base. And so you can see now I have gained about 0 0.01 Ethereum, which was converted from Ethereum on ERC20 to Ethereum on base chain. So if I go over to a decentralized exchange now, for example, I'm going to be using base swap here. I've went ahead and connected my wallet. And so we can see that I have 0 0.0161 Ethereum. And so I can decide what cryptocurrency I want to buy on base chain. So there's many different ones listed here. If it's not listed, you can go ahead and put the address in there and find that cryptocurrency. And so if I want to buy BSwap here, I can go ahead and hit max. And then I will be converting over Ethereum on base chain over to BSwap and I will be receiving 13 BSwap. And so we can see that the gas price is relatively cheap. It's only going to cost 10 cents for this transaction. And so the majority of the cost is going to be swapping Ethereum from ERC20 to Ethereum on base chain. Once that transaction has taken place, there is going to be very little cost. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do have a balance of Ethereum, I do not recommend doing the entire balance. You want to keep some Ethereum on the sidelines for paying these gas fees. And so if you're going to do it, maybe um, use only 75 or 80% of that. And then you will keep some Ethereum on the sidelines to pay gas fees for transactions moving forward. And so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. And make sure to check out that link underneath the video to CoinW, where you can get access to a free trading group with exclusive information just by signing up using the link underneath the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.